Coach, Coach, can you tell us um, what kind of adjustments did you make in the second half that led you guys feeding the ball to Pippen more? Well, but part of the uh, part of the problem in the first half was Pip didn't want the ball. I mean, he was like a deer in headlights, and uh, he didn't he didn't work very hard to get the ball. He wasn't aggressive. He didn't want the ball. I mean, when you're that big and and realize the guy guarding him had a lot of bulk and a lot of girth. He's a hard guy to move. And we knew that, and he's a senior and he's a pretty good player. But the problem was he didn't work hard enough to get the ball. Because when we threw it to him, he was slow to make a decision. By the time he made a decision, he had three guys around him. And it's hard, to, I don't care who, when, you know, three on one's really tough. But I wasn't happy with him, so at halftime, we had a conversation, and I think it kind of helped a little bit. But I'm also, I'm, it never ceases to amaze me it's my 38th year, and I always have to remind myself, because as a coach, uh, we've, we're just like the players. I mean, it's our first game, and, but it never ceases to amaze me when the lights come on, how it just takes that process of adapting. We're playing basketball under the lights, with the crowd, with fans, and it just, uh, it's just part of the process. So thank goodness we got exhibition games. How close uh, was that teak that we saw to the one you see in practice? I don't think it's close at all. I think Teak Bowl's got much more, uh, but it was, I'll be the first one to tell you, boys and girls, it's uh, good to have Teak Bowl out there. I mean, to see, see him block the first shot from behind and, and have a couple others, you know, that's what you're hoping for, but it's going to take him some time to, to get the His time timing there. is off because he hasn't played, and he hasn't played in a year and a half, And uh, but the best thing that Teak did tonight, you guys don't get to see that, is in the huddle. With the six-minute mark, he's telling our guys the game's not over to continue to play. And I thought that was impressive. I, I thought that was impressive. Here's a young man that we've already put on ice, and he's talking to our team. I mean, that's what seniors do. And that was, to me, that was the most impressive thing Teak did tonight.